the lagoon concept is heavily again based more on lifestyle living so there's a bunch of uh, lagoons water bodies uh, restaurants and cafes on the water mm -hmm. uh, again it will be it's of course adjacent to the makhil one so just it will be same thing you enjoy the golf course you enjoy the park you enjoy the you know horse yeah. riding uh, there are uh, artificial uh, beach so uh, malibu beach and the facilities and amenities are enormous and a very competitive price who and is only 15 minutes from the mall of Emirates. so who is this targeted at what, what's going to be the the client base here that are going to come and buy these these apartments or these villas rather and how much is the project going to cost today this is targeting very much end user and we focus on end user and we've been avoiding very much the speculators as a matter of fact we put certain rules that a person cannot get more than one or two villas because you don't want the speculators we want the end users and we've been thrilled the demand was good uh, the average price is between two to four million dirham so it's very affordable i give you an example in that range you can get an apartment three bedroom in business bay okay but you don't have the golf and the greenery and the park and the barbecue area and the jogging and 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 the, for the family for the families is a great ambience they love to live there and end of the day as i said 15 20 minutes from all of emirates so we're targeting the end user the price is very affordable mm -hmm. two to four million uh, per per villa and the demand is good on that the last time we spoke you said 2021 is going to be a difficult year for the market uh, facing a glut of supply uh, when you look at how prices have bounced back a little bit in, in in the course of the year how surprised are you by how quickly it's happened last year i remember and i said number of times to a number of people uh, that i i missed this time i was totally wrong i mean i look at the time COVID, market or, or the oversupply uh, economy shut down dubai basically lives on people dubai government makes money from you're driving and visa and flying and all that and eating and dining and whining and suddenly all that stops so i was very wrong i was very surprised and shocked last year december mm -hmm. to see how things change i mean the leadership here and the management of dubai yeah. inc have done a fabulous job we have a very strong leader yeah. he shut down the city and then he opened gradually and made a fantastic job. And so where does that leave us? Are you willing to make a call on how 2022 could shape up given what you're seeing in terms of demand and in terms of supply? Yes, 2022, it will be as good as 21, if not better. Because I tell you, I've met a lot of people. I've been investigated. You know, when I make a mistake, I try to find out what went wrong. And a lot of people moved here. So I asked some of my friend who moved their family here and I said, You've been coming to Dubai for 10 years. Why you moved to Dubai now? Mm. In the COVID, he said, we used to come for one week. We came for six months. Family, kids love it. I don't want to tell you how good the city is. You know, and everybody else knows from safety, security, and so forth. The second factor, which has helped also, a lot of those rich people, they're predicting big raise in taxes in Europe. So they're moving here. Third factor, honestly, is a video conferencing, the Zoom. People realize now they can do a lot of business on Zoom. Mm -hmm. And they all know MRC Line can connect you to 300 cities around the world. So connectivity, safety, security, beautiful city, and Zoom and all that, and tax-free, move, moving a lot of people to Dubai. So this yeah. time, I think, is an end user. Very much end user at different categories. Okay. And that was sustainable. You've increased your bid to buy the rest of the mock properties, and this comes after regulatory review. It also saw a backlash from some of the minority investors. What will change from an operational perspective uh, after the takeover is complete by Maple? I don't think much of it is going to be changed. Damak will remain Damak. Their business model will remain the same, buying lands, developing luxury products, and selling it and serving the customer. Uh, I don't see that much change. I see one change. We may do some investments overseas, which has been riskier. And uh, we avoided it as a public company because as a public company and a minority shareholder, they want to take risk with their money. So maybe the risk appetite will increase. We were both in Riyadh last week. And what is clear is that the competition is heating up between Riyadh, Dubai, and Abu Dhabi. Uh, what would you 
say could be done in Dubai to make it even more attractive to foreign investors to make sure that the advantage this place has is an advantage that they keep? Let me tell you, people talk about this and they talk about the competition. A, I don't think Riyadh competes with Dubai. A, I have seen Riyadh since 1984, where I started my first business of catering. And I was, I don't know, 27, 28 years old. And I've been going to Riyadh over the last 35 years. In the last four years or five years, the leadership in Riyadh have changed the country, and you've been there drastically. I mean, we never dreamt a woman will drive apart from music and parties and dinners and you arrive at the airport and all the women are passport checking and all that. So I don't want to elaborate there, but the leadership there is taking the country to the totally, totally different direction. They're taking it truly to the 21st century and they're doing a fantastic job. I mean, I've been to this conference the last five times and the quality of people they get and the presence and the everything else. So Riyadh is not competing with Dubai. Riyadh is a capital for 30 million people. Yeah. It's a capital for the 10 million barrels of oil, the largest producer of oil. Riyadh is a capital for a country which needs everything which has been left behind over a number of decades. Riyadh has a leadership which want to take it to the next level. Riyadh has, or Saudi Arabia has thousands of kilometers of beaches, mm -hmm. end to end. Okay. Dubai has an outstanding leadership. Okay. Dubai positions itself as a global city.